All right, let's go ahead and give that a little break. All right, guys, Cutaway 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out in the Freedom Shack. Haven't been out here in a while. I've uh, been working out here a lot. <laughs> and uh, I tell you what, man, I'm really looking forward to um, 9 millimeter because we've got the pistol caliber carbine stuff that's coming up. I'm waiting for the factory to come in before we go ahead and we expose you to the GMR from JP Rifles, as well as the KB32 Special, and then uh, the PSA ARV, which is going to be a lot of fun. But until then, what we're doing is we're prepping a lot of brass. Uh, we're getting ready to take up, a, I got a couple of these guys right here that uh, we're going to take up to uh, Pennsylvania with us. And I'm going to set up a prep area just for brass, uh, for charging the brass. And it's going to be kind of nice because I'll have a place that I can reload and I can I don't have to wait till I get all the way back in North Carolina to do whatever I got to do. All right, so, yeah. Uh, I bought ammo. I bought ammo to, uh, the other day. Uh, Midway USA uh, had a... Not, you know what? Not even a sale held there saying in stock these days. Not not to mention nothing's on sale these anymore when it comes to ammo. And why did I buy it? I don't even know why I bought it because, in all honesty, uh, we really are not doing a whole lot of uh, range videos anymore. Uh, I am going to go out and do some of the nine millimeter stuff and we we'll test out red dots and things like that. I got a really cool deal that I'm going to show you uh, that we're going to do as it relates to uh, rifle scopes. And we're gonna show you how to range stuff. We're gonna use the uh, Kilo uh, 3000s, the BDX. Uh, we're gonna uh, incorporate the Kestrel in all that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But I saw this thing, an ad came on uh, Midway USA. Uh, ammo, in stock. And I, I guess it's the IMI stuff. Uh, from what I understand, a lot of the IMI uh, stuff that's coming from, from overseas, is in stock and from what i have heard through the grapevine is that there's a lot of components that are available and they're sitting out there somewhere but for some reason they can't make their way through customs or whatever i'm not sure i don't know uh, and i'm not going to speculate on that but i just wanted to show you this this is the uh shooting with the best imi these are 62 grain uh, uh, the full metal jacket green tips, and there's 30 in a box. Wow, I mean, check that out. Little green tips, little green babies. I'm not a big fan of the 62 grain green tips, except they do work really well with my uh, uh, ACSS reticle in the ACOG. So I might just go ahead and set up about 10 mags, because there's 300 of these things, and set up uh, 10 magazines just specific for that rifle. And just set it aside because that'll be the go rifle when the time comes um but 300 rounds to my door was like 290 dollars that's disgusting and I, I i mean it really is watch this hold on for a second um i can remember back in the day <laughs> we used to be able to buy these guys right here Shit. For $151 delivered, um, these, oh, wait a minute, I always take these up and I label them and, so we're ready to go. Uh, but you get the green tips and these little guys right here with the stripper clips. Love this stuff. I, I tape a uh, spoon, the uh, little feeding spoon in the top of this thing. So... You know, it, it's, it blows me away. I think the last real big ammo purchase I made was right there uh, after the Parkland thing. And I ordered a couple thousand rounds just because I saw it. And then it's another thing that's interesting is that when we saw, oh, I'm not paying $180. I'm not paying $200 for 500 rounds. And now here we are, what, a couple years into this whole thing? All right, not even a year into it, where everybody and their mother went out and bought guns, and everybody and their mother went out and they bought all the ammunition up, and we're sitting here paying a dollar a round delivered for 62 grain. So anyway, I just thought it was interesting that I saw an ad, and I just had to buy it. And uh, Midway USA, and believe me, it was uh, in front of me. I bought it, and it was at my door in two days. And that is the beauty behind uh, Midway USA is that 
and I have no affiliation with those guys other than uh, I love Larry Potterfield. <laughs> um, what a great company that you can actually order and receive your product in two days and you don't have to sit around and wait. Uh, another good company as of late is Palmetto State Army with a couple things. If you order the stuff that's in stock, uh, that ARV upper and lower receiver set, bought that stuff, uh, and it was at my uh, dealer, uh, my FFL, within a couple days. But yeah, I'm sitting here just uh, shaking my head. Five, uh, 500 rounds used to cost you about 150 bucks. 300 rounds was a thousand, uh, 300 dollars get you a thousand rounds. Now, what 300 dollars will get you 300 rounds, if that, if you can find it. Uh, what do you think that's going to happen in the next couple of days with the uh, the stuff out there? Uh, do you think the the stock? Uh, we're going to start seeing some things. Uh, I hope so. I uh, I would like to see the ammo prices start coming down as well. But you know with them trying to get rid of the filibuster to move forward with a bunch of bills. It's interesting now, and I'm trying to stay away from the politics of it, but it's interesting now that uh, Congress, uh, they have, the Democrats have the majority in it, and they are going to do whatever they can to keep the majority, including letting everybody and their mother vote uh, without any kind of ID or representation. So that's it. And that's why, guys, we continue to reload. Um, you know, you got things like this, primers. Hopefully primers will come back in stock. All these are small rifle primers, and, well, there's none in that box. With that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. <laughs> Remember the good old days. 30 cents a round. That's crazy. It's Coda Boy 32 If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Was freedom is not free. And I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who will fight. Because there's going to come a day, I believe, that we will have to fight for our Constitution. Because the Constitution was written to limit government, not expand government to the point that these idiots mean to provide for everyone. Because if that's the case, we'll all go broke. It's Boy 32 Y'all be good. I'm out of here.